Hello everyone, my name is Ankush Chowdhury. I am CEO and founder of Learnomate Technologies. This is a clip from my paid class and I hope you will find this very very useful. Hi everyone, my name is Ankush Chowdhury and welcome back to Learnomate Technologies YouTube channel. So, today's topic again very interesting. You can see over the screen that is PostgreSQL Backup. So backup plan very very important role in the Oracle, not Oracle, I am talking about the PostgreSQL. So backup plan very very important role when you are whenever you are starting your career as a DBA, right? So this is also one of the important activity which we perform on daily basis. Why do we take the backup? Because by any chance if you're if something went wrong to your database, let's say someone deleted the table or let's say someone deleted the complete database. So there should be a way through which you can recover your database. So for the reason we always try to take the backup of your Oracle or backup of your database. Uh, today I'm talking about how we can take the backup of your PostgreSQL database. Okay. So there are two types of backups are there. One is your physical backups. Okay. So as the name suggests, the physical backup is the backup of your physical files. So let's say you have a PG data under the PG data, whatever files you have, like your configuration files, like your ident file, like your host based authentication files. You take an example if your table spaces folders, everything. So whatever things which is available under your dollar PG data folder that are all your physical files, right? So in order to take the physical backups, we need some utilities, correct? For me as a DBA, both the backups play a very, very important role, physical files backup also and logical files backup also. So for physical files, if you want to take the backup, you have a different, different tools and technologies are there. Like among that, one thing is pg underscore base backup okay so you can use this if you want to take the physical backup but if you want to take the logical backups right now what is mean by logical logical means just take an example of your tables okay just take an example of your database so that time we are going to take logical backups so in order to take logical backup we have uh, utilities are available like pg underscore dump you can use that or you can use pg underscore dump all today's topic is mostly focus on logical things so i'll be discussing about logical backup see consider a situation i have a postgresql server is there okay and under this postgresql server i have multiple databases are there let's say db1 and db2 okay. what i want to do i want to take the backup of only one database let's say even though I have a multiple database are there, but I want to take the backup of only DB1. So this is your logical backup. So specific database backup you can take with the help of your PG underscore dump. That is possible. You can do that. If you want to take the specific database backup, you can do that. Let's say you want to take the backup of overall all the databases like you have a DB1, DB2, everything. So basically you can use PG dump all. So whatever things you have, if you want to take the backup of everything, go with the pg underscore dump, dump all. Now consider a situation I have some specific tables are there. Let's say I have t1 table and t2 table. I want to take the backup of t1 table only. So you can use this pg dump, right? Under the pg dump, by using this pg dump, you can take the backup of only specific table also. Or let's say you have a schema. And under the schema, you have multiple tables are there. That is also possible. So what I mean to say, let's say I have one schema with the name U1. Under that, this T1 and T2 tables are there. So you can take the backup of your complete schema also, which will take the backup of your, your both the objects, which are like T1 and T2. Another importance of PG dump is like, just, a, just take an example. I want to, you know, migrate my tables from one version to another version. Just take an example. I have a postgres sql or, or postgres version which is of 12 from where i'm going to take t1 table backup and i want to restore it to the another version like 14 i want to restore it here so you can do that so there is no dependency of your versions also like from one version to another version you cannot do that something nothing is there so by using this pg dump cross version is also possible even let's say you have a server which is available on windows and you have another server which is available on Linux, okay, from Windows to Linux, if you want to do the migration, you can easily do that by the help of your PG dump, that is also possible. 
Another importance of PG dump is like you can have a backup in different different format also. Like let's say you have a plain text format. Everyone know just like plain text format. Like if I want to compare it, it is like a SQL file. So let's say I have a T1 table. Under that T1 table, I have this some records are there, and I'm going to use this PG dump utility to take the backup. So what it will do? It will create a SQL file. This SQL file you can use for your restoration purpose also. But again, you might have questions like, you know, what is the utility we need to use if you, I want to do the restoration? Can I, like PG dump is fine, which will create your SQL file, but I want to restore. So you can do that restoration with the help of your P SQL utility only because it is a plain text format. So for plain text format backup, you can restore with the help of P SQL and to this P SQL, you need to provide that SQL string. That's it. So you can take, and do the restoration. You can also take the backup of like, you know, plain text format is done. Then also you can take the backup in custom format. You can also take the backup in directory format. Let's say I want to take the backup, but I want this backup to run parallelly. Why we do the parallel backup? Why? What is the reason? Because I want to increase the performance of my backup. So we try to take a directory level backup in which you can take the backup parallelly also. So you have custom format, you can take the backup on directory format, you can have a backup available in plain text format also. So different different formats are available, you can use compression, you can zip it, everything is possible with the help of your PG dump. But uh, if I don't have, like PG dump is fine, like I understood, like if I have a backup in plain text format, I will use PSQL. But what if, if I have a backup available in, you know, directory format or custom format, for that you can use a PG underscore restore. This is the utility which you can use if you want to restore that. Okay. So that's all about, you know, how you can take the backup of your PostgreSQL database, which is your uh, logical, which I focus more physical backup. I will explain you in the next lecture. Again, you might have a questions like, can we have all these things in the practical? Definitely you can do that. But again, for that, you need to subscribe to this channel. And if you're interested for next video, let us know. One more thing, if you're looking for PostgreSQL DBA training, reach out to the Learnomate teams. The numbers are available over here. You can also subscribe to our WhatsApp channel. You can follow us on our Instagram, LinkedIn, and my this YouTube channel also. All the links are available in the description of this video. Thank you. I hope you guys have learned something valuable from this video. Please do like, subscribe, and share this channel. You can also contact us for the paid training. You can also comment interested if you want the more video like this.